Hello, and welcome to this introduction to endpoint control video. In this video, you'll see how easy it is to use a FortiGate and FortiCline 5.0 to secure your endpoints. You can use FortiGate and FortiCline 5.0 to protect all the endpoints on your network, including desktops, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Whether these endpoints are directly connected to your FortiGate, connected to your FortiGate via a router, or remotely connected over VPN or the internet. FortiCline 5.0 enables every device, local or remote, stationary or mobile, to integrate with your FortiGate, so your users and guests can work efficiently anywhere at any time, without compromising the security of your network. In this video, we'll focus on the steps required to set up endpoint control for Windows PCs directly connected to FortiGate. After you've set up endpoint control on the FortiGate, the first time a user with an unregistered endpoint attempts to connect to the internet, a captive portal will be displayed, prompting the user to download and install FortiClient. Once installed, FortiClient will attempt to register with the FortiGate. As part of the registration, FortiClient will download and apply the endpoint security profile as defined on the FortiGate. After successful registration, the Windows PC becomes a compliant endpoint and will now be able to connect to the Internet. Now let's take a closer look at the FortiGate setup. We begin by logging into the FortiGate. In this video, we're using a FortiGate 200B, but the same steps can be applied to any FortiGate model. There are three steps involved. The first one is to configure the interface. Under Network, Click on Interface. Select the interface that the endpoints will be connecting to. In our example, it is a switch interface. Go ahead and edit that interface. On the Edit page, select Forty Client Access, as well as Detect and Identify Devices under Device Management. This will allow us to create different rules based on the type of the endpoint. And that's all we need to change on the interface page, so click OK to save the settings. The next step is to set up the endpoint profile. Under the User and Device menu, click on Device, and then Endpoint Profile to take us to the Edit Endpoint Profile page. You can select to turn on any protection available here, we will turn on AV, Application Firewall, and Web Category Filtering. Notice the option to disable Web Category Filtering when protected by this FortiGate. This allows Web Category Filtering to only be turned on when the endpoint is not connected to our FortiGate. Other available options include Endpoint Vulnerability Scan on Client with a customizable schedule, the ability to upload logs to FortiGate and FortiAnalyzer, as well as the ability to provision client VPN connections. We will create a connection here, a VPN connection to work. This allows our endpoint users to use these default VPN connections. If you want to create more than one VPN connection, you can do so by clicking on the plus button. We'll go ahead and create another connection to the Paris office with its own remote gateway and pre-shared key. Once you're all done setting up the endpoint profile, click apply to save the changes. The last step is to create a policy with different rules for your endpoints. From the policy page, click on Create New. We'll create a new firewall policy that's based on device identity. The incoming interface should be set to the interface which your endpoints will be connected to. In our case, it is a switch interface. We'll set the source address to all and the outgoing interface to port 12 or the WAN which is connected to the internet. 
Make sure Enable NAT is checked. And now, we're going to add two new authentication rules. Click on Create New to add the first rule. The first rule we'll be setting up will be for Windows, PCs, and Macs that are compliant with our endpoint profile. Set the destination address to All. Device will select Windows PC as well as Mac. Make sure to check Compliant with Endpoint Profile. Schedule, Always, Service, All, and the action will be to accept. You can optionally log Allow Traffic. We'll enable web filtering on the FortiGate for this rule. Click OK to save this rule. The second rule we're going to create will be for some non-compliant endpoints. Click on Create New to get started. Set the destination address to All, and we'll select a few different devices here, including iPad, iPhone, Linux PC, BlackBerry Playbook, as well as Android tablet. We'll leave compliant with endpoint profile unchecked here for non-compliant devices. Schedule will set to always, service all, and action will be to accept. We will log allowed traffic. Because these are non-compliant devices, we would like to turn on the antivirus and web filtering protections on the FortiGate. Click OK to save the rule. Note a third default rule which will deny all other non-compliant endpoints. Under Device Policy Options, we will check Attempt to detect all unknown device types before implicit deny to allow for automatic detection as well as the option to redirect all non-compliant or unregistered Windows PCs and Macs to a captive portal. After making all the changes, click OK to save this new policy. We can now see the policy we just created, as well as expand to see associated rules. Our FortiGate is now set up for endpoint control. Please note the FortiGate we're using is running FortiOS 5.0 patch 1. The process to set up FortiGates running other releases might be slightly different. Now that we've set up our endpoint profiles and policies, let's see what happens when a Windows PC user tries to connect to the internet for the first time. Because this Windows PC is non-compliant, the first time the user tries to access the internet, the captive portal will be displayed. Note the content of this captive portal can be customized. The user will be prompted to download and install FortiClient. After installing and then launching FortiClient, the user will see the default unregistered mode of FortiClient. Meanwhile, FortiClient will attempt to connect with FortiGate in the background. A window will pop up requesting the user to register with FortiGate once the connection has established. Registration with FortiGate begins when the user clicks on Confirm and is complete when you see the bubble at the bottom of the screen indicating configuration update was received from FortiGate. Click on View to go back to the FortiClient window. We notice FortiClient has changed to a registered copy with the username displayed on the top right corner as well as the colors of the protection icons changing to a light blue. Settings are as we provision on the FortiGate with web filtering protected by FortiGate and other protections turned on. We can verify that the VPN connections we set up on the FortiGate are available via the FortiClient. Both Paris Office and Work connections are available and the user can choose to view the details of the connection. Now that the FortiClient is registered, the user should be able to connect to the internet. Let's verify that. There. The user can now safely surf the internet knowing they're protected by FortiGate and FortiClient 5.0. This concludes our introduction to endpoint control video. Thank you for watching.